Did you know that only 8% of Americans can say that they have earned a million dollars? 18% of Americans earn $100,000 or more per year. 34% of households in America earn $100,000 or more per year. In this video today, I want to give you 12 ways that poor people spend their money or they waste their money. Warren Buffett is a name that you've probably heard as one of the billionaires, somebody who made it in life and is very, very wealthy. But did you know that he earned 99% of his income after he reached the age of 50? And the reason I share this is because a lot of times people will say, I'm too old. I'm just too old to even think about these things. But you're never too old to meet that level of wealth that you need for your family. One of the things that you can do is start looking at where are you wasting your money? And I have a list of 12 things that Warren Buffett suggests that poor people waste their money. These are small changes that you can make as you try to achieve more wealth in your life. Now, before I share these 12 things, I want you to think about what is wealth. Wealth to each family means something different. It's getting to that level of income where you can provide for yourself and for your family that you feel you're wealthy. And that could be just $100,000 in the bank, or it could mean a million dollars in the bank. You have to decide where that level is that's going to make you feel like you are in a position to say that you're wealthy. Um, you get to enjoy the things that you want in life and you still can take care of those necessities. Here are the 12 things that you might start looking at. Number one, neglecting personal development. According to Buffett, the best investment that you can make is in yourself. You want to enhance skills and education and boost earning potential significantly. Knowledge and abilities are assets that no one can take away from you. Number two, stop relying on credit cards. Credit cards can be convenient, but those high interest rates can quickly put you into serious debt. Make sure you pay the full balance. If you have the cards, start coming up with a plan where you can start getting rid of them and then get yourself into a position where you pay that credit card off monthly. Number three, frequenting bars and pubs. There isn't anything wrong with going out and having a good time and, and, and having a drink with friends, but the cost of drinking at a bar or a pub is outrageous. Maybe you can start meeting at friends' houses and then having that drinking um, social time as get-togethers in each other's home. You can still have your social time, but significantly reduce the cost. Number four, chasing the latest technology. All those new gadgets are so tempting, but many times last year's model will serve just as well. Look at how you, the money that you're investing, do you really need this new gadget or what you have? Does it meet your needs? Overspending on clothes. Buffett, along with other billionaires, lean towards simplicity in their wardrobe. Choosing classic, durable clothes over flashy, expensive brands are things that might not last forever. So when you, if you want to spend a lot of money on clothes and you want to have this nice wardrobe, then look at something that will last longer as far as the style and cut back on those things that are trendy. Buying new cars. I think most of you do realize the minute you drive your car off the lot, the value of that car drops significantly. So maybe you could buy something pre-owned from somebody that's reliable. It's a new brand, but maybe something without a lot of mileage, but you're going to save money significantly. Oh, look at number seven. I think we're all guilty of this one. Unused gym memberships. How many times have you bought that gym membership, especially right now? It's December. We're going into the new year and everybody has new goals and they want to get in shape. So they go out and buy those gym memberships and maybe use it for a month or so and then stop. Think about working out in a way that you don't have to spend money on a membership and maybe take walks, ride bikes, things that don't cost you anything. Number eight unnecessary subscription services. Be careful when you subscribe to something and there's a recurring fee. That's where they get you. Go over your charge cards. Make sure there's no unnecessary subscriptions and again, memberships of anything and get those off of there if there's things that you're not even using. Number nine, ladies, this one's probably for you. Over-reliance on skincare products. Buffett advises against overusing or needlessly combining skincare products. Finding a simple and effective routine can save you money and your skin. So pay attention to what you're 
buying? Are you buying that next thing that was on a commercial and then you've got all the stuff sitting in your bathroom, uh, skincare products, and you're not even using half of them? So you might even just stop buying and start using what you have. Number 10, regular nights out. While socializing is ascension, essential, you need to have time with friends, with your husband, with your family um, or spouse. Um, these frequent nights can be very expensive. So start thinking of budget-friendly alternatives like home-cooked meals, maybe a movie night, things like that. It can cut down costs considerably. Number 11, gambling. This may feel like a shortcut to wealth. I don't know. I'm just as guilty when that lottery gets up to billions of dollars. We all want to go out and buy a ticket, which is kind of silly because the odds are more against you. But, you know, psychologically, we all have that. But there's the odds are against you. So instead of counting on that, make financial decisions that favor long-term wealth accumulation, not momentary thrills. So and last but not least, smoking. Number 12, smoking. Yes, it does have health implications, but boy, is it expensive. Quitting can lead to you being healthy, and it's also going to add a lot of money into your personal budget. And with that, maybe think if there's other unnecessary things that you're spending money on. So those are 12 tips from Warren Buffett. Maybe you can find some things in there to cut back on and start your journey to a wealthier life.